हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर नकुल सिन्हा डायरेक्टर कार्डियोलॉजी एट मेदांता हॉस्पिटल लखनऊ एंड प्रीवियसली वाज प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी एट संजय गांधी पीजीआई लखनऊ सो वी ऑल हैव कम टू दिस वंडरफुल मीटिंग सीआईसी सीएसआई एनआईसी अहमदाबाद व्हिच इज हैपनिंग आफ्टर टू इयर्स ऑफ द कोविड पीरियड and it's a wonderful feeling to be here not only meeting everybody but interacting in person and learning new things and trying to impart newer messages the topic allotted to me this time was in the physiological assessment tools session meaning thereby that how to assess the coronary physiology and not only depend on the angiogram which can be subject to different interpretations and subjective variations basically the assessment of physiology involves the assessment and adequacy of coronary blood flow which can occur in either resting or in stressful situations we try to induce the hyperemia or maximal flow usually by giving adenosine and measuring the pressure difference across the lesion that we want to study it can be a single lesion or multiple lesions in diffuse disease or in different coronary arteries what has been shown that physiological assessment it gives us a more than a fair idea of not only the importance of the lesion which we are seeing anatomically on the angiogram but also as to how it is likely to behave in the coming few months or years for the patient thereby we try to select out lesions which need to be tackled and perhaps an angioplasty be done and not intervene in all and every lesion which perhaps can lead to an overuse of coronary stents and therefore by deploying the physiological assessment basically by ffr and its variants that is the fractional flow reserve we not only avoid unnecessary coronary stenting but also give the patient a chance for a better outcome which has been shown in many randomized trials like the fame one fame two differ and many others my session was basically focused on how to avoid the pitfalls the technical tips and tricks and how to get the exact measurement which will aid us in assessing the lesion now there are many more advances where we have uh, techniques like the ifr dfr rfr which have done away with the use of causing a maximal flow by giving intravenous or intracoronary adenosine moreover now we can have new technologies which are already coming and have establishing themselves by removing the use of the wire so we can have a C ct guided ffr where the ct angio with a particular software can assess the flow characteristics moreover this can also be applied to uh, oct which is uh, optical coherence tomography where the oct ffr can give us a better point to point reference of the lesions and their importance so all in all i would say that all of us should be aware that just looking at the coronary angiogram is not enough and we should have evidence based uh, findings especially in terms of physiology assessment which will not only help us be more exact and scientific but also help our patients live a useful and a better life thank you